Okay, so we did a video on doing some in-hospital communications and one of the programs that I showed you was a program called Stickies. And this is where you can get Stickies. zhornsoftware.co.uk forward slash Stickies. And it'll bring you to a download link here and then you can click it here again. I already have them downloaded on this computer, so I'm not going to do that. We'll go ahead and get started, and I'll show you a couple things about stickies. I'm not going to cover every details because I do have to keep this video under 15 minutes. Okay, so as you can see, I have a couple stickies already on my desktop. Now, just be aware that I am using my computer from home. I am not at work, so things are going to be a little bit different than what might be reflected at our work computers, but it's all pretty much the same. Um, as you can see, these pretty much stay on my desktop. Here, if I click this little down arrow, um, it'll change to dark gray and point up. And that means that I'm toggling it on top. So no matter what program I'm in, that sticky is going to be there. So if you're in any of your veterinary software or internet or anything like that, you have the ability to keep this up here. This is good for copying and pasting information um, or transferring information if you need to. So down here, we're going to right click and we're going to go to friends because we need to create our friends list. Um, and by friends list, it's just what it's called. Um, this would be actually where you put all of your other workstations into so that you can communicate between computers. Now just be aware, you do have to have the stickies program downloaded on every single computer that you want to use stickies with. You also need to know the IP address of every computer. So for instance, this computer is the IP address for that, or for this person, I'm sorry. So how do we find our IP address? First thing we're going to do is we're going to come down here to the start button, we're going to type in CMD, which is the command prompt window. It's going to look like this, and we're simply going to type in IP config, all lowercase, no spaces, hit enter. And down here on this address, IPv4 address, that is that computer's IP address which you will want to write down. Now you have to remember which IP address goes to which computer because when you're putting in multiple addresses you need to make sure that you keep them straight. Okay, so then we're going to come back once we have our IP address we're going to go back into our friends list. We're going to click on new friend. Now here you can either put the name of the person sitting at that computer station or you can simply use the location. So for instance, um, some of our staff members um, rotate around like two communal computers. One of them is located in our pharmacy and the other one is located in our treatment room. Um, so those computers might just be called treatment room and pharmacy. Um, but in this case we're going to give this person, which just happens to be myself, and we're going to put that IP address in there and hit OK. And there's that person. Hit OK. And then we're going to come down here and we're going to double click and we're going to just write a little test. And we're going to send it to, so up here I right clicked on that bar, hit send to, and I selected that person. And there's that sticky. Now you notice that my original one stayed there. I do have a couple options that we can go over in just a moment. Um, but this is if I was, if the recipient, which I was, um, this is how it looks. So let's go into our options here. Right click, options. Let's go over just a couple things really quick. Um, one, um, a lot of these are pretty self-explanatory. Confirm sticky closure. So if we did that and then tried to exit out of one, it's going to ask us, um, are you sure you want to close the sticky? And you would say yes. This is good for people who have a tendency to close stickies or close things without reading them. <laughs> um, create new sticky with a single icon click, which down here, instead of double clicking, you would just click once. Um, make transparent stickies opaque while editing them. Um, that's if you use under the appearance, if you use the opacity. Um, clicking one sticky makes all stickies visible. Um, that would pull up all of your stickies if you just click on one. If you're in another program, such as Avamark or your internet, um, that can get pretty annoying, so we don't usually generally use this one. 
um, enable scroll bars. I personally like scroll bars. Or scroll bars. I know a lot of my other staff members don't like them. So, but um, it's customizable per computer. Um, so, you know, use that if you want. The nice thing about scroll bars is if you have a long list, you've got a lot of stickies, you can roll these up a little bit, make them smaller. So they don't take up as much room, and then you can scroll through them. Um, rolled stickies have a different position to unrolled stickies, so if you roll them up and then move them and then unroll them, they will snap back to their original position. Uh, locking a sticky freezes it in place. Now you can lock the contents of a sticky. Oops, up here on the gray bar. That just keeps you from um, editing any of the information in it. It does not keep you from deleting it. Um, and by clicking this option, it'll keep you from moving it. Start stickies with all notes hidden. That's kind of counterproductive in my opinion, so hopefully you're not using that. Drop shadows, um, don't need to use those. And then snap sticky edges into alignment when moving and sizing. That's definitely been a, a plus and, and we do like to utilize that. New stickies are image stickies. You can do images. You can even send images. Um, new sticky titles are set to date, blank, or set when created. Um, set when created makes you give it a title every time you open up a new sticky. We don't like to use this too often. Um, you can always just manually change the title by just right clicking up on the title bar and clicking set title and it will bring that back up. You can do that with any sticky. So we don't generally use that option unless we need to. The good thing about titles is that if you have multiple stickies you can roll these up so only the title is available. And these are for maybe long-term things that you want to keep on your desktop but they're taking up too much space. Um, stickies, new stickies, um, when you receive them or you open them, are going to open up as default in the middle of your monitor. You can change those coordinates if you would like. You can also change the size of which they generate. Appearance, this is pretty self-explanatory. You can change the color, you can change the font, you can change the size. Um, pretty customizable, which is kind of fun. Network, um, if you are in a building with multiple computers, hopefully they all network together. Um, they should be if you're already utilizing a software, um, veterinary software program such as Avamark. Um, so just make sure that that box is checked. <coughs> Receiving, receive all is secret. Instead of them popping up on the middle of your computer screen, you can have a little bubble down here that says you have received a new sticky, which you then click on that and then the sticky will pop up for you. They can play sounds if you have sounds. Friends. This is important. On startup, request friends list from machine. When you're first getting started with the stickies program, you need to make sure that you only make a friends list on one, let's just call it a main computer, on a main computer. Um, all your computers should have stickies already downloaded onto it, but we're going to create the entire list of all the other computers in the office on just one computer. And then what you can do is you can go and put the IP address in from that computer into here on all the other computers and it'll pull that friends list over for you. So you don't have to enter in 10 computers onto each one workstation. Hopefully that makes sense. If not, um, message me or email me and I can explain it a little bit better. Um, otherwise, you're going to be spending a lot of time putting in friends. Um, request friends every 60 minutes or you could change that time if you wanted to. We don't utilize this because if you're already requesting the friends list on startup, there's no point doing that. Sending. Send all as a sticky. Uh, sorry, send all as a secret. Don't really need to do that. Close sticky after sending. This is preference. Um, you saw what happens if you don't close it. it you keep uh, the original copy. Um, and then add my name to the end of the sticky. We always like to do that unless it's a com communal computer where there is no one person. Email, you can email stickies, but just be aware that if someone replies to the sticky that you emailed, it does not come back to you as a sticky, it comes back to you as an email. PDA, Palm Pilots, um, stickies does support and is compatible with those. However, they are not compatible with iPhones, Androids, smartphones, whatever. There is no app for that. 
alerts. You can um, put an alert on your sticky to remind you in so much time. Um, you do need to have sounds if you want to play sounds, otherwise they can jiggle and flash. Sounds exciting. <laughs> Hotkeys, um, these just give you uh, shortcuts um, when using your keyboard to manage and uh, use your stickies. Um, one of the most commonly used way is to just hit Control R when responding or replying to someone who already sent you a sticky. And then in your advanced, the only thing that um, I would recommend you change at this point is to keep um, a pretty good size number of closed stickies. And I'll show you where to find closed stickies here in just a moment. Um, if you have a computer that is being popularly used, a receptionist, for instance, who answers a lot of phones, or doctors who gets a lot of messages, I, would, I like to keep at least 100 closed stickies. Makes life a little bit easier for us. So that way, if someone does accidentally exit out of a sticky or close a sticky that they need information on, we can retrieve those, so long as it's within the last 100 stickies received or sent. So we're going to right-click on here. We're going to go to Manage Stickies. Now this desktop one is going to show you what ones are still currently on your desktop, and I do have those too. But down here under Closed, um, it should keep a list of them in chronological order, and then you just have to go through and pick. So we closed one here not too long ago. A uh, new sticky title, which I did not put anything in there, which is fine. Um, there's our test one that we closed. We could definitely restore that, so we're going to right click on it and hit Restore. It's going to put it back on my desktop for me. So that's the nice thing about stickies. They're customizable. You can move them. You can play with them. Um, they are networkable, so you can send them from computer to computer. You don't have to have those pesky little phone messages that get lost. They get stuck in books. They get thrown away. Um, you know, so it's a great program. It's free. Can't beat that. We've had it in our office for about five years now, and if at any point it ever becomes av unavailable or we decide to get rid of it, I'm pretty sure that my staff would walk out on me. <laughs> they love it that much. Um, it's been a lifesaver. It's also a good way to communicate between offices. We do have three offices that we utilize, and Stickies is um, compatible with that, so we can send it from office to office. Um, and it's a great form of communication. keeps people off the phone. Um, it's also just something really handy you can pull up. If you're on the phone, you need to type down a phone number real quick or some information. Um, you know, they have been limitless in their use to us. So hopefully you'll find it is just as amazing and fantastic of a program as we have. If you have any questions, by all means, you can comment on this video or you can email me. It should be listed on my page. Good luck.